So what they're going to be doing, the first uh, non-destructive test would be at a 12 meter span centre point load. Uh, and then following that we will do a 9 meter span centre point load as well. To fill in the gaps outside of that, what they'll do is take all that data from the, the sensors attached to the truss right now and pump that through a structural engineering software, which will then allow us to fill out all the, the, the different meterage, deflections, loading, center point loads, and basically charter all up, get your specs off that. You took them in. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think we're getting ready now. So they do the they do the same loading. They do that three times to set the truss, just in case there's slight bits of movement with the joints and stuff, which could create a bigger or smaller deflection. So the engineer has just tested the truss, uh, another centre point load, um, again at the same as what we did previously. The only difference being is they've done it in the centre of uh, three metre length, so it's. Uh, not sitting on any of the joints. A lot of people state that the joints are a weak spot in the truss. After this multiple testing confirms that there's actually very little difference between the joint and the solid tube um, in strength. So there goes that theory that the, the spigot ends are weaker. They most definitely not. So.